Sorry to tell you, but the hunt for the cut continues because the Florida Panthers unfortunately just lost to the Oilers. So we want to go now live to Trish Christakis, who is uh, at Amaran Bank Arena. And Trish, I guess it's cleared out now. What was the vibe as this game continued to go on tonight? The arena started clearing out probably mid third period. As you can see right now, there is hardly anyone here. There's still still a few loyal fans trickling out. But as we just mentioned, they did lose eight to one. Now the fans that I did speak to, despite the loss, oh here the lights go on. So now everyone's just about leaving out. The fans that we did speak to, they're not sad despite the loss. They told me they're excited for the Panthers to come back home and actually win it in sunrise. Now you guys, one fan that I spoke to after the first period has been coming to these games since. He was four years old with his father. A heartwarming story for you tonight. Take a look at this picture. This is him with his dad when he was four, going to one of his first Panthers games. His name is Dylan. His dad has been taken to these games since childhood. Now, sadly, his father passed away when he was 11, but he's been carrying on the tradition of coming to these games with his grandpas and his uncles and his mom since then. So tonight, he is happy, win or lose, because of how much joy this team has brought him and his family. Even if it goes till next Tuesday, it's still around Father's Day. It would be one heck of an experience, but I have to thank my dad for making me become a Panthers fan. A live look back out here at Amherst Bank Arena. We can see, of course, it has cleared out quite a bit as the Oilers did win 8-1. to one. What a sweet and heartwarming story. Fans are ready for Tuesday, though, and I spoke to Dylan after he left, and he said he will be here Tuesday night with his mom and his brother to carry on that tradition and hopefully watch them win the Stanley Cup on Tuesday. A lot of fans are like, you know what, whatever. They wanted them to win it in Florida. This is basically Canada saying that they're not going to lose at home, so the spirits are so high regardless of the eight to win loss. So if reporting live here in Sunrise, back to you, Chels. Yeah, well, you said it best. They're going to come home. They're going to win it. And Dylan and his family will be happy. Trish, thank you. We're going to continue our team coverage right Thanks, now guys. with CBS Miami's Mike Cugno and Steve Goldstein live at Rogers Place in Edmonton. I'm sure the Oilers fans are very happy, but let's talk about us, guys. Yeah. Oilers fans are very happy. There will be no coordination for the Cats tonight. Goldie, a lot of things went wrong for Florida. Let's start with Sergei Bobrovsky, and that, it's not all his fault, but not as crisp as we're used to seeing. No, there were quality chances. First off, give the Edmonton Oilers credit. They didn't want to go home. They were the desperate team, and they were the better team, top to bottom, right for the get-go. Those were grade A high-quality chances tonight, right at the net against Sergei Bobrovsky. And he didn't come up with the saves. I mean, they were tough saves, but we've gotten so accustomed to him getting them. They got him out of there after five goals. And this is why it's been 26 years since someone swept the Stanley Cup final. Yeah. It is not easy to do. Connor McDavid for the Oilers. We've been waiting for him to pop in this series. Tonight, he definitely popped. What kind of night did he have? Yeah, goal and three assists, four points. Uh, pass Wayne Gretzky for the most assists in a playoff year. McDavid got loose, but I'll tell you this. I thought it was really the Oilers' depth guys yeah. that got this thing started. The early goals came from their depth players. Then McDavid kind of came along for the ride. So for the Panthers, it, it has to be a throwaway game. It's the equivalent of losing 35-3 in the NFL. Really nobody on the Panthers you can point to and say, hey, they played a good game. Yeah. So regroup. They'll get home tomorrow. They're in the exact same position they were three hours ago. One will win until the Stanley Cup, and they got a chance to do it on home ice. Well, we'll see if the Panthers make sure this is the last game in Edmonton this year. Oilers fans celebrating like it was the last one. They have a tall task ahead of them. Cats still in a good position at the moment, up 3-1. We'll see if they can lock it down in Game 5 on Tuesday. Chelsea, back to you. All right, Mike Goldie, we hope they can lock it down. Thanks so much. And in case you didn't join us for all of our coverage today, we're going to do it all again. We're going to be previewing game five. Mike and Goldie live from Amerant Bank Arena, and you can watch that on the CBS Miami YouTube channel. That's going to be Tuesday at 6 p.m. Well, now we want to continue our coverage in Miami, where Steve Majuri is live at the bright side. Steve, this really isn't a bright thing, a real buzzkill tonight. 
It absolutely was. Fans were really ready to break out the broomsticks and get the sweep, but that did not happen tonight. Now, Brightside was prepared. The owner tells me they sold out within a minute all of their seats here preparing for the game. Now, this was the scene just before the puck drop. Everybody was all fired up. Tonight's the night. The Panthers finally bring home Lord Stanley's Cup, and then after about the first period, it devolved into this. Depression, dejection, disappointment. This quickly turned into a regular night out with your friends. But people still enjoyed themselves. This was a good warm-up for the rest of the series, since every game from now on is a potential clincher for the Panthers. The fans are eager to finish the job in game, in game five, and they have something to look forward to with this loss, actually, since they have the chance to seal the deal on their home ice. We didn't expect this. They haven't scored this many goals in the whole series, so, you know, but we moved. It's going to be sweeter to win it at home, lift the trophy at home, you know, with the real fans where everybody's been waiting 30 years for this, so. We're going to win at home, so that's what we got to do. We got to win here at home. Panther fans do know that they have statistics and history on their side. Only four teams in NHL history have ever come back from a 3-0 deficit, and only one team has ever come back from a 3-0 deficit in the Stanley Cup, and that was all the way back in 1942. So fans are certainly excited to get to finish this at home. That's probably the one bright spot from tonight here at Price Out. Live in Miami, Steve Majeri, CBS News, Miami. Steve, with the bright side, you're right. Uh, I knew Panthers fans were going to want it at home, so hopefully Tuesday night that's what will happen Steve thank you